What's up you guys, Training Paul here. The subscriber count on my channel has recently exceeded 50,000. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this channel. You are the reason why I make those videos and the more of you guys watch them, the more motivated I am to go on and improve my videos. I'm very grateful for that opportunity. I wanted to do this video so we can get to know me a little better and maybe to crack you up in some cases. So here's 50 weird or random facts about me. My name's Dave, I'm 25 and I live in Poland. I came up with my channel name when I saw the name of the calorie counting app MyFitnessPal. I just switched the beginning to training and there you go, training pole. Right now I weigh about 81 kilograms, which equals 179 pounds, which is exactly how tall I am in centimeters, which then equals 5 feet and 10 and a half inches. We need more measuring systems, don't you agree? I graduated from University of Technology in Poznan as a civil engineer, but didn't like it very much, so I dropped out of my postgraduate studies. Then I started doing some freelance gigs as a programmer, graphic designer or 3D animator and I'm doing it to this very day from time to time to be able to pay the bills. However, I'm trying to focus on my passion right now, which is doing YouTube videos and calisthenics. The channel is growing, so hopefully I'll be able to direct all my time into that soon. I've always liked the idea of having a beard, so I started rocking this look just when my beard started growing. I haven't had a clean shave for at least 4 years now and I don't think I'm gonna get it soon. A few years ago I've noticed that I'm starting to lose my hair, just like my dad did at my age. Instead of being depressed about it, I embraced this fact, shaved my head and began to get used to this bald and beard style. Do you want to see how I looked like before that? Yeah, that's me 6 years ago. And yeah, I wore glasses because I have myopia. That means I can't see well on a distance. I wore different glasses for years, then I switched to contacts and finally stopped using anything at all. Turns out I needed a super sharp eyesight only to read things from the board and classes. I've been on a plant-based diet for over 4 years. I tried it as an experiment to see how it will affect my workouts and never really felt a need to go back to eating meat and dairy. Before that, I couldn't even imagine not having meat for dinner. I was a total meat lover. That just shows me how we sometimes take something for granted and don't feel the need to check out if our way of doing things is good or bad. I love spicy food so much that I tend to eat raw habanero peppers just to feel this incredible mixture between pain and pleasure. If it ain't burning two times, it ain't spicy. That's my rule. Oh, it's hot. I went through a lot of things looking for something to get passionate about before calisthenics. I tried playing harmonica, but sacred it. I tried playing ukulele, but sucked at it as well. I tried juggling, taught myself to juggle with three objects, but had no interest of going further. At one point I got into solving puzzles like Rubik's Cube. This is what sucked me in for a little longer. I can solve a standard Rubik's Cube in less than 25 seconds. To this day it's my fidgeting toy, whenever I have nothing to do with my hands, I reach for a cube and shuffle it around. My favorite calisthenics move is human flag. It trains your whole body and looks so awesome. I think it's the most iconic move of the bodyweight training. I use cloves instead of chewing gum. I read somewhere that it's good for your teeth and gums and has been used for removing bad breath for over 2000 years. Also, I really fell for the taste. So if you ever meet a bald guy with a beard smelling of cloves, then it's a huge probability it's going to be me. 
I take the three capsules daily and do B12 injections every year for a couple of weeks. That takes care of my deficiencies caused by my diet. I also drink coffee as a pre-workout from time to time if I really don't feel like training or just when I'm tired but have work to do. I'm not one of those people who cannot train unless they listen to the music. I do listen to it from time to time, but for the most part I listen to podcasts. You can learn a lot listening to smart people talk to each other. Recently my favorites are Joe Rogan Experience and H3 Podcast. My bench press PR is 120 kilos, that's 265 pounds. However, right now I have no idea how much is it, because I don't have enough weights, despite of doing whatever I can to load the bar. Hm. My favorite cardio workout is cycling. At one point I was so crazy about doing it, I went from 0 kilometers done in one month to 1000 kilometers next month. I lost about 10 kilograms in two months and had almost no muscles after that. But that's a story for a different video. As a kid I was climbing trees a lot. I love doing it to this day, maybe even more, because it's much easier as I got much stronger now. There's something very soothing about watching the world from up there. I consider myself a minimalist. I've noticed that buying things satisfies me for such a short time that it doesn't make sense to work your ass off for something that you made yourself think you need. I prefer to live frugally and stress-free and value experiences more than acquisitions. I feel the most freedom when I'm on one of my trips carrying everything I own in my backpack. And this is one of the reasons I started sleeping on the floor. Beds are just cluttering our bedrooms. I began my calisthenics journey with a street workout Poznan group. Here's me doing requirements back in 2013. This is where I met my two best friends. I love how this one decision to go train for the first time affected my future social life, work life and probably much more. My favorite calisthenics equipment is probably no surprise. Gymnastic rings. I've said why so many times in my various videos that I'm not gonna bore you once more. My favorite piece of technological hardware is this Kindle ebook reader. I've been using ebook readers for at least five years and it's such a convenient way to read. Reading is very important to me. I think it makes you smarter, expands your vocabulary, makes you a better writer and so much more. Speaking of books, my favorite calisthenics related book is Way of the Peaceful Warrior. It's part fictional, part real story about a guy who trains gymnastics and his spiritual and physical journey to become a better man. It was such a great motivation for me, couldn't recommend it more. Stay away from the movie though, it sucks. Speaking of movies, my favorite one is Matrix. I loved it as a child and I love it still. Even the second and third part, which I'm fully aware, is rather uncommon opinion. My favorite fictional books are Brent Weeks novels, both the Night Angel trilogy and Lightbringer series. No other books kept me glued to my Kindle so much. Maybe besides the Witcher series, which I'm very happy I could read untranslated because its author is Polish. My favorite class at school and university was math. Math taught me logical thinking and problem solving like nothing else. I can do this with my eyes. Nothing deeper here, let's move on. As a kid I was a hardcore gamer. I played a lot, all my childhood and teen years. I've been playing this game called Tibia for 8 years straight. Big chunk of my life there, but I have no regrets. A lot of great memories from that time. My favorite computer game of all time is Dark Souls. I have never had a bigger satisfaction coming from a game then the moment I killed Manus after mastering the fight for 3 hours straight. Nowadays I don't have much time to play games, but sometimes I'll do it to relax. I've been playing CSGO and Hearthstone from time to time. My inner child still has something to say when it comes to entertainment. I also watch quite a lot of YouTube in my spare time. I've always loved the platform and now I love it even more being a content creator. My favorite channel lately is H3H3 Productions. Any Ila Kleiners here? 
These are my only tattoos right now, but I plan to cover my whole arm with them. I'd like every new tattoo depict something meaningful that happened in my life. Just like this Buddha, which I got tattooed when I was developing a spiritual side of myself and my philosophy. I think a new tattoo is approaching very quickly, because I have another important thing in my life I want to express in ink. I love traveling the world because it makes you realize how big it is, how many people there is, and how unimportant are the everyday mundane problems that we like to create. Books and travel are the biggest perspective-changing combo that lets you grow as a human being. My favorite time of the year is summer, because I love the sun, hot weather, and swimming in the ocean. That's why I plan to move somewhere that has a better climate than Poland. I love that country, but it's too far from the equator for me. My dream travel destination is Venice Beach, California. That's where this world-famous training park is, and every time I see it in videos, and how big the community there is, it makes me want to go there even more. I'm gonna go there one day, God help me. And yeah, that's only a figure of speech, because I'm agnostic. Almost every day before falling asleep, I read the book aloud for at least 15 minutes. I've been doing it for almost two years now, and my pronunciation has improved tenfold since then. I recommend it for anyone who's learning the language. And that would be a wrap up for this video. Leave a thumb up if you liked it, and see you in the next special for 100k subs. If you need help with calisthenics, would like to learn skills like human flag, front lever or planche, or you're a beginner and could use a guidance, then check out my Patreon page for details. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks and see you next time.